hi guys this is V and I'm going to do a kidding up video um, I have well my partner actually knows that I haven't been purchasing anything lately um, I at the moment am not ordering because the US Aussie dollar ratio basically for one dollar one US dollar it's about a dollar forty a dollar fifty nearly a dollar fifty um, in Aussie dollars so I haven't been I've stopped purchasing for a while uh, but I still have some stuff to go through stuff still to kit up stuff still to work on and yes this is another diamond shop um, this is called scale which is an Anna Dittman um, how did I get this one this is not one of mine that I would choose however this was from um, a mystery box I had Hey, I think this was the 50 mystery excuse me $50 mystery box where I got scale and I got another one um, by Sybil Arts so I'll be kidding that one up eventually oh, oh soon probably <laughs> the way I'm going um, I am going to use the Harbour Mates Harbour Mates uh, Harbour Harbour Pound? no anyway the um, I can't remember the name of them Harbour Freight yes it was Harbour Freight um, containers which were given to me by Cindy B um, and I am going to do a video which will show you my opinion on all the different um, storage containers um, but yeah at the moment I'm going to do a kitty up so I do have I made a photocopy of this one I am going to cut it basically in half and I will <coughs> put it through the Xyron label maker uh, and just get moving with things. I will speed up some sections because there's some sections you really don't need to see. Um, but how are you guys going? Uh, how many of you guys have been affected by, I think there was a tornado in the US? Um, then you've got the good old coronavirus at the moment, um, which is an interesting thing to discuss. Oh, oops, that's not tearing off. Okay, it should have teared off, but it doesn't matter. Um, so let's just get this. All pressed down. I am actually going to cut that and I put that one on there. Probably would be good to do. Oops, oops, oops. Good to do two, but uh, okay. Okay, so this is a Anna Dittman. It's only a 45 by 30, which isn't for me is not that big. Um, symbols are really clear. I will zoom up for you. Oh, hang on. I've got my focus locked. Ha, ha, ha. Let's see if I can fix my focus. My focus is not on auto. So therefore, it won't focus on stuff. Um... Come on, there we go. So the symbols, when my camera decides to focus, the symbols are really clear. Just looking for the usual culprits. Um, can't see any. Usually, you'll see sixes and nines and possibly even Gs, but I'm only seeing Gs. And S's and fives, but oh, uh, we've got G's. No, that, that actually looks like there's not many in the way of conflicting um, symbols, which is a good thing. Okay, so I'm going to label these up. I'll zoom through it. Um, I will say I never used to cut these on top of. Oh no, I won't do it. Not on this one. I'll move this along. 
So yeah, I'll cut these up and I'll label up and I will... So, labels are done. <clears throat> One thing about Harbour Freight containers is 24 um, in one with Diamond Shop. All their, um, actually no, I won't say all, but the majority of their, their paintings, majority of the pictures are 45, which means that Harbour Freight is a perfect size for it. So what I'll do is I'm going to now fill these up uh, my box is empty it will be interesting to find out if one of their big bags one of Diamond Shop's big bags um, will fit into a full one of these uh, which will be quite an interesting process so let's start with number one now Diamond Shop when they package theirs just hang on to the simple Okay, so when Diamond um, does pack theirs, they always pack them in numerical order um, or DMC order and then I'm actually able to do a quick check and then I'm, I can put them back in order. Um, so yeah, it's just something that I do like with their services that they do put them um, into their containers. So update gee there's been so much happening but not a lot uh, in reality um, the in my life what's going on in my life hmm. not a lot but a lot <laughs> um, i don't know if that makes sense um, i am we did the camping trip Hang on, I will just adjust that angle. You don't want to see my legs, but yeah. Um, we did the camping trip, which I did a whip and chat about. Um, but where am I out with my roster? So I've done, I've just done two days, three nights. So Thursday, oh sorry, Wednesday, Thursday, day shift. Friday, Sunday, Sunday, night shift. <coughs> Where am I at after that? So then I've got four days off. So today is Tuesday. Uh, no, today is Wednesday. Holy cow. Did I lose a day? Yeah, I did. I lost a day. I slept. I really did. I I have an interesting little sleep tracker now to keep track of my sleep um, because I have to be careful on my sleep at the moment for the way I am. Um, but yeah, my first day, Wednesday, Monday, um, I got a bucket load of sleep and then still slept a full night, which was really good. <laughs> okay, so um, today is actually Wednesday. There we go, losing track of days. Because um, normally my first day, before I go to bed, I do all the housework and then I go to bed and get a good sleep. 
um, to get me ready for my days off. However, obviously, I needed a lot more sleep than what I did get, than I have been, so I just went to bed. Um, I'm not going to the wrong way to open it back. So yesterday was housework day. Um, yeah, busy day yesterday. Uh, so yeah, that's where we are. It's Wednesday, not Tuesday. And okay, I wonder if I cut these on a diagonal to make it easier for me. nervous with these clips sometimes. Okay. Uh, which means so I Wednesday so I have today and tomorrow those days off and then Friday back to work. Day shift. So I am supposed to do three days and then two nights. However I have actually booked um, leave. I booked some leave, um, well more than some leave, uh, but I booked leave uh, with the planning of possibly going across and seeing my dad in Cairns. Um, but I'll touch on that one shortly. Uh, I will say that, so what I'm supposed to do is three days and then I'm on leave for I'll take two nights leave and then I'll take four shifts off uh, but what that means is I will be on leave from the 16th and then not back at work until the 1st of April so that's that's not too bad that's just by taking four five six days leave you know, it's the 11th of March now. But yeah, I've got pretty good time of, uh, of a break. Whoops, drop one. Oh, then I drop more. Okay. I'm doing a review of the containers, so you will see what's going on there, how I feel about them. Oh, okay, okay. Five, six, two. Uh, so yeah, that's work-wise and where I'm at with my shifts at the moment, and yeah. Now, what else is happening? <laughs> We're in the grips of a toilet paper shortage, because people are, don't mean to be rude, idiots. That's a generalised comment there. And I know it's really generalised. Sorry guys if you actually fit into this category. But what's happened at the moment is the coronavirus. So we all heard about the coronavirus and all of that. Um, and people in Australia have panic, done panic by because in case they are isolated, have to go into... Um, self-isolation for two weeks so basically at home so they stay at home and isolate themselves so that then they are not spreading the coronavirus or I suppose any virus you know if, <sighs> I mean if you get the flu you shouldn't come to work and all of that stuff anyway so you know people are panicking because with the coronavirus it's like or no, you definitely can't come. If you have a have a cold symptom and you've been in contact or you've travelled, you know, you can't go to work, you need to self-isolate for two weeks and I miss the container. Again. Um, but for some reason, people are panic buying on toilet paper. So, hence, to buy toilet paper, it's very, very hard. And when the shops actually get there and go limit of one packet of toilet paper per customer, it makes people really nervous. So what they do, they get their family to go when they, they get get their first thing in the morning. Come on. 
when the toilet when the shops open and they've restocked all the toilet paper they go in first thing in the morning and with their husband and their brothers and sisters and they all get one packet of toilet paper each which then means that other families miss out it's so frustrating it's like one packet of toilet paper. Is it an eight pack? Honestly, how quickly do you go through toilet paper? Are you really going to go through an eight pack of toilet paper in two weeks? Seriously? If you're going to go through an eight pack of toilet paper in two weeks, you got problem, more problems than the coronavirus. Um, you know, as part of my normal fortnightly shop, like I buy toilet paper once every, because I buy a big pack, big roll. I probably only buy toilet paper once a month. And unfortunately, um, just after the panic buying of toilet paper was when I was due to buy toilet paper, which is bloody ridiculous because I couldn't get any. Um, Nathan has my car at the moment, He's got issues with his four-wheel drive, um, something about his clutch, so he's got that in being refixed, and the air conditioning is being fixed as well. Uh, so he's got my car, so while I'm on my days off, he's got my car so that he can go to work, and I don't have to worry about driving him, because it's a pain in the ass getting out of bed in the morning, driving him to work, coming home and going and picking him up in the afternoon. Um, so he's got my car which means I can't go to the shops um, I do have tomorrow yep I have done an online order for shopping and I am hoping that in that I will get a packet of toilet paper if I don't get toilet paper tomorrow morning so this is the way it was last night if I don't get toilet paper tomorrow morning um, well, we're going to be in tight squeeze. I actually do have a box of tissues just in case. But, I, you know, yeah. So I did an online order to try and get some toilet paper. And hopefully it will. I will get some tomorrow morning uh, when I go pick up my online order. Because I've always, well I haven't, I won't say I always. I... About six weeks ago, I reverted back to doing online ordering because it's just easier. And I will order my stuff online and I'll either do it delivery or I'll do click and, click and collect, depending on whether I can get the delivery for that same day or not. Um, but yeah, so even online ordering, oh, yeah, online ordering is another, another matter altogether. Um, yeah um but yeah so we've got an all i've got an order hopefully i'll get some toilet paper i mean i did order other stuff besides toilet paper i needed to get some more stuff uh, but yeah hopefully thursday we'll get some toilet paper well that's the plan it wasn't saying it was sold out but who knows maybe i'll be lucky Seven <coughs> but nathan this morning so this is how stupid it is Nathan this morning had to go to the shops to get some fruit to take to work. Um, now this shop opens at 7 o'clock in the morning and he was there not long after 7, I suppose about quarter past 7 and he dropped in and he got his fruit and then he turned around and said to the staff, he said, oh, have you got any toilet paper left? And they said, oh, we'll just leave your stuff here. I think we've still got a couple of a couple of packets. So a shop that opens 7 o'clock in the morning, quarter past 7, they had four packets of toilet paper left, toilet rolls. I think it was an eight pack. So Nathan grabbed them. <coughs> Excuse me. But he turned around and he said to them, oh, have you had any issues with people fighting over toilet paper and they turned around and said yes we've had some pushing and shoving in the shop for toilet paper oh it's like for god's sake um 
Whoever started the panic buy of toilet paper, I think um, the toilet paper companies are going to thank you because they're now producing toilet paper 24-7. Their crews are having to work overtime or extra shifts to be able to keep the demand up for toilet paper. Toilet paper shares, maybe it's a good time to invest in uh, Quilton or Sorbent. Sorbent, Sorbent, yeah. 931. <coughs> Who knows? Um, so yeah, we uh, Nathan managed to get a roll of toilet paper. So tomorrow, hopefully, hopefully, my online order, my click and collect order, I will have toilet paper there as well, which means I will have two packets of toilet paper. Um, they are eight packs. Normally I buy a 24 pack to last me we have two months. Ah, but yeah. So yeah, panic buying it was for the toilet paper. Nothing. Uh, oh, what's going quick? So toilet paper is one. Yeah. Hand sanitizer and soaps, just um, pump soaps. They're gone. So hand sanitizer. I can understand that. Absolutely understand that. Um, what else is oh, and tissues because people are having to use tissues because they can't get toilet paper um, when I went and did my shopping went and picked my online shopping because I couldn't get toilet paper on my normal click and collect order um, when I went to collect it I did go into the shops and I got myself some toilet some tissues just in case Okay, that's wonderful. <coughs> uh, but yes, yeah, so um, we have we have toilet paper, um, and we we won't. There's only two of us in the house. We won't run out. We'll be all good. <sighs> now, coronavirus. Let's talk about that. Oh, that's an interesting subject. And I can understand the fear of it. Absolutely understand the fear of it. For at work, um, our company is a 24-7 company. We work in crews. So we work with the same crew every day. Um, eight to nine, eight to ten of us in the team. Uh, one of us gets quarantine. One of us comes in contact with somebody with coronavirus. We have to self isolate. If it ends up that that one person does actually end up with coronavirus, does it diagnosed with the coronavirus, it then means everybody they work with um, has to go into self isolation uh, and be tested, which. Uh, can actually cause issues because not only do we have to worry about the fact that uh, the people we work with in our team but we also have to look at the people that we have do handovers with so we can affect um, you know, another team or another two teams depending on when the handover or what point of the roster we are so um, yeah, I know they're looking at contingency plans for where we are because um, our company, you know, 24 7, you have a mining crew that work together for two weeks. You know, there's crews that have to work two weeks. So they do seven days straight and then seven nights straight and then they go home. Now, those guys, if they work together and they're quarantined, they're actually. They actually spend a lot of time with more than just their standard crew because they're the fly in fly out guys and they're, they're the guys that get on the plane, fly to work and then come back four weeks later. They have a, they, they have their mess, so which is their food mess where they go to eat. Um, then there is a wet mess if they go and have a drink. So the on mining camps, the chance of 
coronavirus or any virus going around affecting a lot of people um, is so noticeable. It is so noticeable. Um, I will say we had, I know what it's like because we had a couple of years ago, there was a nasty gastro outbreak um, in one of the camps where crews, people that had gastro were isolated to their cabins um, and to prevent gastro from going further there was a limitation on, on crews working who, who met up with who and all that. It was, it was really, it was really hard to manage. Um, and that was just from gastro from one camp. So yes, it was identified that the gastro came from the food, but that affected multiple different teams. So not just say, say if it was a dri train drivers did copper, but then it did also affect um, other parts of the mining aspect. Um, but for the coronavirus, the possibility that that will affect us in the office as well. So they've got to come up with some contingency plan. Um, I, I know what I would suggest. Um, we have a backup centre and to prevent cross stranding between over teams, um, the idea would possibly be day shift or working out of Malaga, which is away from the city people, and then night shift working in the city and just doing handovers by phone so that then we're not in contact. That would be my suggestion. Um, we'll soon find out what happens. Um, now, the fact that it is affecting the elderly and the ill, um, people that are already ill, um, they're the ones that are really getting affected by it. Um, you know, it's more likely to kill someone that is elderly or has a, a medical condition, um, you know, which is, you know, it's horrible. Bit of static in that bag. Okay. So you know that is you know for, for the people that it's really affecting, it's it's not good. That being said, though, in our jobs, um, we have medicals once every well two years. Some people I have a medical every year because I actually do have an illness. Um, that has to be monitored, but it's not physical, so, yeah. So, all in all, our, the people that we work with will be healthy anyway. So, I mean, if we get it, it'll just go around as a bit of a cold for us, but we also need to self-isolate so that we don't spread it across the floors to other other places. Um, so yeah, um, interesting process to worry about. Um, we have some people that regularly go overseas on their days off. We've got one guy that goes to Bali just about every every day or every for every time he's on his roster days off. He goes to Bali. Um, don't know whether they're going to turn around and step in and say, hey, not going overseas. Work-wise, if it's for work, that's handle international travel for workers, um, where, where we are. But um, people that are travelling for personal, they're not stopping at this stage. <sighs> um, they might, they might do it. They might do it for international travellers. But he's going to Bali just about every time he has five days off. He goes to Bali. It's cheaper to live there. Wonderful. <coughs> oh yeah. So it's an interesting that time at the moment for us. We are just 
starting to get into autumn, which means we are just starting to get into our flu season. Um, and that is when we are expecting to actually get hit, is once we get, uh, Australia gets into autumn, um, that's when people start getting flu. That is also when the box is getting full, nearly there. Uh, yeah, which means when the flu season dies down uh, on the, in the northern hemisphere, we start up in the southern hemisphere. Um, but that's how SARS died out, is because um, basically it was the season changing. That, uh, killed, that stopped SARS from going any further. We'll wait and see. Wait and see what happens. But, so I've got leave booked. And the plan with my leave is I was going to go to Cairns and spend time with my dad. However, my dad is a sick man. He gets pneumonia regularly and has to deal with it. So if I happen to travel and catch it while I'm travelling, um, pass it on to him unknowingly, I, it could basically it could kill him. Um, the same as if I went down south to my family down there, my stepfather is. 90, turns 95 this month so my stepfather um, could be affected um, my, he's, he's, he's had enough already <laughs> he's tired, he's old, he's had enough shouldn't be like that but yeah um, so yeah he's you know if I go down there I could affect him um, even my mum has uh, issues with her lungs, so it could end up affecting her as well. Yeah, so yeah, you've got to stop and think, yeah, yeah, I want to go and see them, but uh, not if it's going to make me sick. So it's all a consideration of what you do um, and how it affects people. So yeah, okay, so that's all kitted up. Um, I will now empty that into there. Look good what that box does. It just holds it all in. Okay, and nearly, nearly, nearly. nearly. Ah! In, in, in. Hang on, crinkle alert, big crinkle alert. Okay, there we go. Empty bags are in. That's done. Okay, um, yeah, so yeah, that's where with the coronavirus going on around now, we have to be considerate on who we visit just in case because you don't it's one thing that you don't know that you've got for me i don't think it'll affect me but i do know that if i cop it and i pass it on to my family either my dad or my stepdad or my mum um or even my stepmom um if i pass it on to them it could be a fatal so you know you, you you've got to weigh up these things uh, but yeah that's my opinion on the uh, coronavirus and where we're at at the moment Okay, so Anna Dittman, scale, 43 by 30, all kitted up, good to go, um, which is a good thing. I've got a few kitted up, a uh, few that I'm doing, working on, uh, most of them are Die Moon Shop, uh, yeah. So guys, I hope you enjoyed that little bit of a, a chat while I kit up. I will be doing more, a little another video yet again to for storage containers. So hopefully you'll find that handy to get my opinion on different storage containers. Um, and I do need I've got another uh, 
die moon shot that I need to kit up and then that'll be the last of the ones that I need to kit up uh, so yeah guys thank you for watching um, give me a comment about you guys and how you feel whether the coronavirus is going to affect you or not and how you feel about it if you're in Australia have you been affected by the toilet paper scenario uh, you know toilet tissue issue <laughs> is the best way to put it um, you know would you consider you know like with me I'm trying to work out whether I travel or not to go and see my dad I don't get the opportunity to see him very often so do I go just and, and to see him or do I turn around and go no I'm, I'm not going because I can't take the risk or the risk is too, so low that I don't know but yeah so guys leave me a comment um, let me know your feelings on what I've discussed today um, give me a thumbs up thumbs down if you like uh, if you uh, want to subscribe please subscribe and remember hit that bell so that then you know when I do an upload you'll get notified so yeah guys, uh, thank you for watching and bye for now.